Welcome back, my fellow crime enthusiasts, to my channel. It's great to have you here. Get ready to embark on another captivating journey into the intriguing world of crime. I want to express my heartfelt gratitude for your continued support. Together, we've created a community that thrives on the thrill of entangling mysteries and exploring the depths of criminal minds. Today, we're diving right back into the fascinating stories that have gripped our imaginations. We'll uncover hidden motives, examine puzzling evidence, and peel back the layers of intriguing cases. But let's remember to approach these stories with empathy and respect for those affected by the crimes. Our journey is one of understanding and seeking justice, always mindful of the human element behind these perplexing tales. So, without further ado, let's delve into another riveting episode as we continue our exploration of the captivating world of crime, Bangalore Double Murder. Welcome back to my channel. Let's get started. A previous representative jumped into the workplace of an innovation firm in Bengaluru and killed the CEO, chief, and overseeing chief with a cleaver on July 11, 2023 evening, police said. The departed have been distinguished Vinu Kumar, the president of Aeronics Media Private Limited, and Fanindra Subramanya, the company's MD. Felix was named as the suspect by the police. According to a police officer with knowledge of the situation, Felix started his own business after leaving the company. It is unclear what led to his separation from the business. Lakshmi Prasad, the deputy commissioner of police DCP for Northeast Bengaluru, stated that Felix was on the run and that efforts are being made to capture him as soon as possible. According to the police, Felix barged into his former office at Pampa Extension of Amruthahali around 4 p.m. and used a machete to attack the two top executives there. Fanindra and Kumar, who were genuinely harmed in the assault, kicked the bucket while heading to the emergency clinic, police said. The Amruthahali police arrived at the spot and demanded the canine crew and measurable groups. Manipal Hospital has received the deceased individual's bodies. The Northeast Division Police found three people from Kunigal in Tumakuru locale in something like 11 hours of the homicide of the CEO, President, and the overseeing chief, MD, of a broadband firm at Amruthahali here on Tuesday. The police are watching out for the proprietor of another firm, who was executed through one of his workers over business competition. In view of a grievance, the police framed unique groups and found the charged who were named as Shabarish pseudonym Felix, 27 from Devarachikanahali. What's more, his partner Santosh, 26, an occupant of Marainahali on Banargata Street. Furthermore, Vinay Reddy, 23, an occupant of Rupena Agrahara. The fourth blamed who brought forth the homicide plan, distinguished as Arun Kumar, proprietor of GNET, one more broadband specialist organization at Banargata here, is on the run, Laxmi Prasad, delegate magistrate of police, Northeast Division, who is regulating the examination, said. Probe revealed that Fanindra and Vinu Kumar had previously collaborated with Arun Kumar. In November 2022, they quit to establish Aeronics Media Private Limited. Additionally, the duo stole around 10 GNET employees. The firm before long began doing great business and was giving intense rivalry to Arun Kumar's firm. Irritated, Arun Kumar purportedly requested that his worker Felix do the hit work and the last option roped in two people and acquired passage into the workplace on the guise of looking for occupations. During the interrogation, the police said that Felix tried to divert the investigation by saying that he killed the two people because they were interfering with his love life. He likewise asserted that when he was working for GNET, Fanindra terminated him over some issue following which he stored up resentment toward him. Felix, who claims to be a fashion model and a Kannada rapper, has more than 16,000 social media followers. In light of the protest by Shankara Narayan, senior team lead of the organization, the Amruthahali police have charged the blame for homicide and criminal connivance. And that concludes today's edition of Crime News. Thank you for joining me as we delved into the latest updates on gripping cases and criminal investigations. Remember, staying informed is the first step towards creating safer communities. If you have any tips or information related to the cases we discussed today or any other crime news, please reach out to the appropriate authorities. Before we part ways, I want to express my gratitude to all of you, my dedicated viewers, for your unwavering support. Your engagement, 
comments, and discussions make this channel a true community of crime enthusiasts. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell, so you never miss an update on the intriguing world of crime. If you like this video, hit a thumbs up button and share it with your friends and family. Stay vigilant, stay curious, and until next time, this is the Narrative Nexus signing off. Take care.